My mummy is dead. My mummy is dead and it was one of them. I don't know about any knife. You really think I kill her? I didn't mean any harm. I thought I was helping to calm her down. This is preposterous. It couldn't have been me. You said it wasn't bloody me. I would so never do that to someone. Thinking. My mummy is dead. Someone help my mummy. Four eighteen pm Saturday, an hour and a half before the murder. I suppose you're wondering what the purpose of my invitation was. Finally. It's horrible timing, really, but she finished the will. That's why we were all wrangled up. The outcome wasn't all that surprising. Everything was left to Edith. The money, the estate, the little envelopes with the official signet on them. I thought it made sense. It was a fair choice. After all, if Delia happened to die while Edith was still young, the girl would be in my custody. And who would argue that? Certainly not me. I do recall Davenport having some qualms about it. He felt since he'd known Delia for so long, he was entitled to something. I told him to shut his trap and be grateful he still had the job. Come to think about it, Teresa was also quite upset about it too. I'm not sure what happened there. Are you serious? Look, this is certainly... Lovely, absolutely splendid, ma'am. What does that mean? No, don't worry about it, sweetheart. I can't believe you. Ma'am, are you certain this is what you want? It's taken me too long to come to this. The decision is final. <sighs> If you'll excuse me, ma'am, I think I need a moment. You know, I think it all started with that will. If she hadn't even made it, none of this would have even happened. Two thirty one PM Saturday, two and a half hours before the murder. Dilly and I were best friends. We grew up together, did everything from sharing dresses to annoying the butler as a pair. She had other cousins and so did I, but we were inseparable. We just got along better, you know? We were just mischievous enough to help each other out. She was the brains of the operation, always has been. Even recently she'd been helping me out with finances and all that. I know I'm a suspect in this whole matter, but I've got morality. I would never do something like that, especially not to her. I just wish I could talk to her one last time. I, I miss her dearly. Do you have I'm afraid so. Well, come on then, let me do that. No. Oh, come on, Deals, it's my money for God's sake. You're not gonna like what you see. What's this supposed to mean? It's gone. All of it. You better be joking. Could it be any clear? Heavy last penny. Just gone. And you told me this wouldn't happen. Uh, you said this place was trustworthy. Could, uh, you know the man up top, don't you? Can't you do something? I knew the man up top. What? It was just the summer up lane. God, you're kidding me! Come on, Teresa. Oh, you just wanted to get cozy with him. That's why you told me to invest, didn't it? You just wanted them to like you more. How was I supposed to know this would happen? Oh, I should have known. You've always been like this, dragging others into the same pit you're stuck in. You never invested, did you? Did you? God, did you? I didn't think this would happen. I, I hope you know I put everything into that company. You told me it was the right thing to do. I always listen to you, Deals. I invested every. Don't be like that. But you don't even feel bad. God, why would you? You never cared for matters other than your own. Maybe we can fix this. <laughs> That's not how the world works, Delia. You can't just magically whip up a bolt of cash and solve all your problems. Come on. My apologies, ma'am. We thought you were done in here. <laughs> we're finished. Well, get on with it then. Is she always like that? Which one? Both, I suppose. Well, Teresa's uh, not always like that, but 
Miss Emsworth has always been hot-headed. But she's been so nice to me. Well, you've been here two weeks, of course she has. What do you mean? I mean, first impressions aren't always permanent. I didn't kill her, I swear! One thirty-four pm Saturday, four hours before the murder. We eloped when she was 19, Delia and I. I was 22, and to be honest, it felt like heaven had touched down the earth. Even if it only lasted a few years, broke apart after Edith came along. We still had fun, I think. I certainly know I did. I didn't mind the abundance of wealth, if you know what I mean. It's truly a shame this all happened, but I uh, can't exactly say I'm mourning. I'm better off now than when she was still alive, you know. Who are the letters from? Nobody of interest, not for you. Oh, so you really have moved on. I don't be like that. It's been half a decade. It's not as though you wasted time lamenting over me. If I recall correctly... Ah, I'm only joking. Uh, have you seen me, Biff? You are a dreadful father. Ah, goodness, we're playing a game. Don't lose faith in me so quickly. Game or not, make sure you round her up soon. Teresa's arriving shortly. I, I still don't understand why you called me here. I was perfectly content in Liverpool. I didn't need to come back here. Oh, yes, I forgot. It's absolutely tragic that you have to take an hour's train ride to get here. So far for you, poor thing. <laughs> Teresa's coming all the way from London. Pardon my honesty, but suck it off. Ooh. Oliver Grantham, he sounds pretentious. Give that to me. What's he set you? Some lascivious invite for some grand estate by the sea? Yeah. My letters are my own business. But because you're so curious, Ollie's a friend of mine. We met last summer. Of course, a friend whom you refer to by a pet name. Oh, just go find Edith. You'll want to greet Teresa when she arrives. Oh God. Uh, what, what is it? Teresa's going to... This is not good. This is not good. Well, it won't get any better if I've no clue what you're talking about. How long have we got until Teresa gets here? How should I know? Uh, Miss Emsworth. What, Davenport? Miss Hamilton is here. Oh God. I've known Miss Emsworth since she was born. I was there for her marriage, her pregnancy, her divorce. I've worked at this house for nearly 35 years, and I'd be damned if I didn't serve it until the end. I stayed here through her bratty childhood, and even after she brought that brat of a girl into this world, I've stayed loyal to this household for longer than you've been alive. Forgive me for being crass, but I can't believe you have the audacity to accuse me. Quite frankly, I'm offended I practically raised her. 2.13 p.m. Saturday, three hours before the murder. Oh, it's just you. Father was supposed to play with me. Aren't you playing hide and seek? He never found me. I saw him near the phone. God, that irresponsible little... Um, well, you can stay with me for a while, sweetheart. I can't play with you, though. I have things to do. Like what? Like things you wouldn't be interested in. Who's asking about Aunt Teresa? Uh, nobody, love. Uh, here, why don't I call for Miss Clifford and Davenport? I'm sure they would love to play with you. Yes, my lady. Edith would like to play a game. Babysitting. Do you have a problem with that, Davenport? Well, I just thought, aren't I past that? Past what? Babysitting. You better not be trying to weasel your way out of your work. You are lucky I pay you what I do. Has Teresa settled in yet? Very nearly, ma'am. Good. Alvina, if you would, 
Tell Teresa I'd like to meet with her soon. We have matters to discuss. Yes, my lady. I'm trying, ma'am. Well, whatever you're trying to do, do it better and do it somewhere else. I can't focus. Yes, my lady. Oh, also. Yes. My paperweight is missing. The one my mother gave me. It seems I've misplaced it. I'll keep an eye out for it, ma'am. What a shame, too. It was damn expensive. p.m. Saturday, four and a half hours before the murder. What are you doing, sir? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Edith, uh, you, you, you scared me. What are you looking for? Uh, nothing, I was just uh, organising. Organising? Yes, organising. Your mother is very disorganised and I am helping her keep her things in order. Oh, all right. share our supplies sometimes. Uh, she, she told me I could have it. Are you sure? I wouldn't lie to you. Edith, darling. What? Now, what would you think if we uh, moved away from here? What do you mean? Well, what if we moved away together? Just you and me, some uh, big house with lots of rooms and a complete staff of our own. But they play with me. All the time, darling. What about Mummy? Well, I, I, Mummy wouldn't come along. Why not? I don't think Mummy would like Kensington very much. Then why would we go there? Well, you never like this house very much. You never leave, darling. Mummy never takes you anywhere. We could see the world if she went around. I could take you to see London and uh, we could visit Aunt Teresa every weekend. I want to see the world. So do I, darling. Four fifty one PM Saturday, forty five minutes before the murder. We had our arguments, of course, but such comes from being in her service for so long. I've seen her highs, and especially her lows. She practically crumbled when she divorced Ed. If I hadn't been there, she would have perished, or at least caused her in ruin. This is the wrong time and the wrong way to say this, but she owed her life to me. Did she repay my kindness? Hardly. But is that what matters? Davenport. My apologies, ma'am. That's right. Sorry. Uh, pardon my asking, ma'am, but... Make it quick. Well, I overheard you and Teresa it's earlier. It's none of your concern. Just frustrated with all. Uh, would you like... Uh, tell Alvina to bring up some biscuits and something to drink. I need to cool off. Yes, my lady. Um... Get on with it. Come on now. I'm going all night. Uh, wait, what? my lady. Uh, about... Your will. Oh, Davenport, I am not in the mood right now. Well, I was only wondering if... No, Davenport. Not now. Yes, ma'am. Go make tea. And it had better not be too hot. Twenty-nine years. Twenty-nine years I put up with her. 5.22 p.m. Saturday. Fourteen minutes. For the murder. 
recall Davenport losing his temper. He sometimes did when we were working and it was always so awful. I always tried to do whatever I could to get him to calm down, but no matter what it was, once I even sent for Miss Emsworth and asked her to be nicer to him. I'm not quite sure how that went, but I think it helped a little bit. I suppose I would do anything to keep him from exploding. Are you all right? Pardon me? You seemed upset when you left. Don't you ever mind your own business? Sorry, sir, I just wondered. Don't wonder, it's unhealthy for a maid. Thomas? What is it now? Have you ever noticed how Mr. Emsworth always seems to be up to something? What do you mean? It's just that he always seems like he's scheming. That's just how he looks. It's part of why Miss Emsworth liked him so much. She said it made him look mysterious. <laughs> Well, frankly, it makes me uncomfortable. I never know what he's thinking, only that it's something bad. It's not our job to know what they're thinking. We just accommodate them after they've thought it. Well, that's not a very nice outlook. Well, it doesn't have to be. It's just the job. We get them what they need, and they pay us. If you do it long enough, they give you a little bit more. But it seems Miss Emsworth does not know the meaning of that word. What do you mean? Well, she's never been anything less than self-centered, hasn't she? Never said thank you, not even after all these years, even when she owes me the most. Davenport, I think uh... She's just selfish! She never thinks of anything else other than her own well-being. I deserve the place in that wheel, didn't I? Davenport, the kettle. How dare she! I spend all my life in her service, and she has the audacity not to repay me. It's ridiculous! Tell it! What? Uh, uh, my apologies. It appears I got carried away. I'll take this to her myself. If you're certain. Wait! What is it? Take this to her instead of sugar. It's not something special to help her calm down. Not a family trick. And I'm done. Devon Yes? Why don't you take a walk outside once you're finished? Might help you calm down. It was supposed to help her. I swear it was supposed to help her. I wasn't trying to hurt her. Five twenty-five p.m. Saturday. Eleven minutes before the murder. I was just angry, that's all. I was trying to let off steam, and I said things I shouldn't have to people who shouldn't have heard. I didn't mean any of it. Is everything all right? Your wife is a liar. She's not my wife anymore, but, uh, do go on. She's ruined me. I have nothing left now. I'll have to... God, I'll have to move to Liverpool with you! Well, Liverpool's not that bad. What's she done to you now? She's taken everything I had and, and squandered it. And for what? A couple of weeks by the sea with a man who thinks she's all that. God, I, I can't stand her. She had a letter that's in your name in it. Uh, I, I know, dear. So what are you going to do? Something. You know, we never used to let each other get away with something without revenge. And the revenge always suited the crime. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? But isn't it fair? She's destroyed me. I have nothing now. I suppose. Oh, yeah, you know she's got this nice brooch that she doesn't want to I'm not talking up. about material possessions, Ed. I, don't you think you're being a little uh, vengeful? Well, shouldn't she understand how I feel? <laughs> you make it sound like you're going to hurt her. You're not going to hurt her, right? I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. Are you okay, Auntie? I'm just stressed, dear. I'll be better in the morning. Papa, I want to play. <sighs> it's all we've been doing all day. Go find your mother, darling. She'll play with you. 
40 p.m. Saturday. Mummy, come play with me. Mummy? much, but I certainly didn't murder her. I didn't her. stab her. It couldn't have been poison. My mother is dead. I was well, I just nicked her name and I saw what I did. Oh, I swear. You know what they always say? The butler did it. <laughs> 